Good morning friends and welcome to the channel. This is the final version of my Royal Enfield Classic 350 Touring Edition and today I will show you all the details and all the modifications that I did on the Classic 350. So let's do a walk around. I will start at the front with the wheels. And as you can see, I went back to the spoked wheels, but with a Heidenau K60 tires. And of course I have some tubes inside now. Look much better, much more classy. And the Heidenau tires are definitely much better than the original tires. Of course I will keep the aluminum rims and I will put some Bridgestone tires on them, some street tires. And maybe I will test these out in the next weeks. Then if you go a little bit forward here, you can see the crash guards. These are the Royal Enfield crash guards. Give a little bit of protection, look very nice. And these are the fog lights made out of metal. They are from Harley Davidson, the day maker. LED fog lights give a fantastic light and I think they look quite well on the Classic 350. And here you can see the foot packs. These are the touring foot packs. The original Royal Enfield ones, very comfortable, much better than the standard ones. Here you can see my oil temperature gauge, very helpful to check your oil temperature on the way if you do a long distance ride. Let's have a look at the handlebars. First you can see the mirrors that I'm using at the moment are the touring mirrors of Royal Enfield. Very well built, nearly no vibrations, but they are not that wide, so I always have parts of my arms in the view. And what I did, I just put some extensions here, so they are four centimeters longer and a little bit higher. And this helps a lot, and now the mirrors are in the perfect position, no more arms in the view. Of course, this doesn't look very nice. It doesn't fit to the classic look. Maybe I will change to the bar end mirrors. Then here you can see my phone mount. It's a peak design phone mount. Very easy to handle, just take the phone, put it on, and it's safe. And this one I use for my navigation. Taking off is very easy too. Just snap it on, push one button here on the side, and then you can take it off. And there's a vibration dampener. So this one, for me, one of the best phone mounts on the market. You can mount it also in a horizontal position or like that, without any turning, twisting, pushing something, magnetic. So very easy, very fast and simple phone mount system. I still have my TPMS system mounted on the handlebars just to check the tire pressure. Here you can see the new adjustable clutch and brake levers. Very easy to adjust, just push them a little bit up, then you can change the width. You get more riding comfort with these because you can put them in the perfect distance for your hand size. So if you have smaller hands, you can put it a little bit closer. If you have long fingers, then you can put it a little bit more away. Very helpful, very comfortable. And the look, yeah, it's a little bit more modern, but I think it's still okay. Now I will show you my luggage system. These are the Hepco and Becker panniers made out of leather. Very rugged, very solid, very easy to mount. There's a U-mount on the back. You can see it here. The bags are just clipped in. You have a key to lock them. You can put them on and take them off within seconds. Very stable, very rugged well-made Hepco and Becker. There's enough storage space inside the panniers and everything is very rugged. So they will go nowhere when they are mounted on the bike and you can close them. But I made a different video about these panniers, which is on my channel. I will put it down in the description. On the back, I have a small Moto Nostra bag. This is for my tools for the motorcycle and maybe the rain cover or rain clothes. This is just a small one, 10 liters, and it's mounted on the Hepco and Becker luggage rack here. And of course, if I'm doing a long distance ride, then I will put a bag here on top of the pillion seat with 50 liters. And then I have more than enough storage space for a long distance ride. And here you can see the seats. These are the touring seats of Royal Enfield. 
beautiful look with this tuck and roll design. Very comfortable, a little bit higher than the standard ones, of course a little bit stiffer than the standard ones. But so far I had good experience with them and I think that should be no problem to do some long distance rides with these touring seats. And last but not least, for the comfort, a heel and toe shifter. Very easy to mount and this gives me a much better riding comfort. So this is how my Classic 350 looks like. The final touring version of the Classic 350 with big panniers, back to the spoked wheels with tubes and the Heidenau tires. I do not have the windshield on it at the moment. Maybe depending on the temperatures, I will mount that later. But for the look, I think it's much better without the windshield and it gives a lot of turbulences on my helmet. So I'm not sure if I will use it. Yeah, so this is the final look. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. So everything is ready now to do a road trip. Maybe I will start with a shorter one just to check how the seating position is and how comfortable the bike is for me for a long distance ride because I'm quite tall. I'm 188 centimeters. But if this will be okay and fine, then I think I will do a longer trip with this Classic 350. And one thing that is really interesting, everywhere I go with this bike, it's if it's a gas station or a parking place somewhere where other people are, you always get the attention. Everyone is talking to me like, oh, what kind of bike is it? Is it an old one? Is it made in England? Is it from India? So you always get a lot of attention with this beautiful classic bike. Okay, friends, that's it for today. My new Classic 350 Touring. I hope you liked the video. And if you have any questions about the parts that I installed on my Classic 350, just write it down in the comments. And if you liked the video, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I see you on the next one. Take care and cheers.